uh, how we optimize in secure container runtime uh, network performance with a modular plugin TCP IP stack. First, we will start with a brief intro of what is secure container runtime. As cloud environments become increasingly complex, uh, secure container runtime have been developed for a while to protecting cloud infrastructure and users workload. There are two main different modes for secure container runtime. May, uh, first one is the micro VM as the Qatar runtimes and the firecracker. And the second one is the sandbox mode. And among that, the most popular one can be GVisor. And in this talk, we will use GVisor as an example for secure container runtime. So let's start with what is GVisor. The key concept of GVisor is making an emulated Linux kernel in user level called Sentry here. And it will trap syscalls made by the application and route back to Sentry to handle it. And Sentry will almost handle most of the syscalls and only will be fall back a very limited syscalls back to the host kernel. So according to GVisor's security block, GVisor is aimed to be secure by design uh, since it follows several dis, uh, secure design principles. First is this defense in depth. Uh, it means each component of the Sentry will trust the other components as less as possible. And the second one is the least privilege principle. Um, it implies each component and each interfaces between components uh, should only have the permission it needs to be function. And the third one is the attack surface reduction. Since the Sentry only supports 237 over about 300 syscalls that Linux kernel supports, it actually reduced the attack, sur uh, surface, attack surface for, uh, for the Linux kernel itself. So um, secure container runtimes actually stronger the isolation, but there's always a dilemma so we have to choose between the enhanced security and the good performance. Um, we can see like most of the cloud native applications, they are actually very sensitive to network performance, but the enhanced security actually will introduce uh, additional overhead, which harms the performance a lot. So on the right side is a Redis benchmark we tested on run C container and GVisor. So originally, Javasar have two um, different network modes. One is the host INAT, which means it will route all the related syscalls, the network syscalls, back to the Linux kernel's NAS stack to handle it. And the other one is the NAS stack, which is implemented in G Sentry itself, and it is written in Golang. You can see even with the NAS stack, which has better performance, it can only get about no more than 60% of the RunC container's performance. So here comes the question. Is there any way we can get both the security and the high performance? And the answer we give here is yes, and with a plugin TCP IP stack. So below is the same Redis benchmark we tested on GVisor with our plugin network stack. and. Uh, you can see uh, there's also two different modes. The first is the virtual IO user, and the second one is the VFIO. Uh, the virtual IO user still needs uh, some virtual IO driver support in the Linux kernel, while the VFIO is actually doing a device pass through. So you can see even with the virtual IO user, it can get almost the same network performance with Run C. And with VFIO, it can get about 1.5 times better than Run C. So let's, um, before we go into the implementation about how we do that, we will first introduce the TCP IP stack we choose, which is called TLDK. Um, TLDK is actually a user level high performance TCP IP stack, and it's an open source object project held by the FDIO organization. Uh, it has many uh, advantages. First of all, it can significantly uh, accelerate network performance since it supports asynchronous I.O. and it's built on top of DPDK. And it is also pretty lightweight and it has a very small and clean implementation in C. Um, but it still has a big disadvantage, make it very hard to use. It is uh, TLDK actually does not support BSD socket APIs, so application who need to use TLDK will be greatly modified. 
but this disadvantage can actually be avoided after we plug in TLDK as a NASDAQ to the GVisor. So let's see how we're actually doing that. So first thing we did is we define a plugin TCP IP stack interface in Sentry itself and add a glue layer in TLDK, which implements all these interfaces. Then we build the TLDK as a static library and link this as a dependency for GVisor while compiling it. So during runtime, when like the application invoke our network syscalls, it will route to TLDK through function calls, and the TLDK will handle all this network performance. So after gluing TLDK with the GVisor, we actually create a win-win scenario here. So for GVisor, it can greatly improve the network performance without breaking security side principles. And it's also easier to support efficiency network traffic access control and auditing, which thanks to the library provided by TLDK. And also for TLDK itself, after working as a plugin module for GVisor, it no longer requires application modification to use it. So application can just simply be deployed in GVisor sandbox and choose TLDK as its network stack. So um, to conclude it up, I think there are two main takeaways from this lightning talk. First is we can plug in modular subsystems into secure container runtime to improve its performance, results, efficiencies, etc. In this talk, we use network as a um, example, but I think for other subsystems like file systems, memory management, it may also work. And the other takeaway is for the modular um, subsystem itself, working as a plugin component for secure container runtime, it can also bolster its uh, compatibility and ease of use. And our implementation detail can be found in this PR. Here, we also wanted to thank the GVisor maintainers who gives a lot of enlightening comments during our discussion. So yeah, that's all for my lighting talk. Thanks for listening.